Hi all, Bill Greenberg with Phonescholar.com. Welcome to the end of the week, Friday, July 30th, 2010. Actually, the end of the month. And uh, also, today's Android Day. All the stories today are with Android because Sprint has announced that the Evo 4G is going to be getting Froyo next week. So here's a summary of what's on the website today. Froyo coming to Evo 4G on Tuesday, Sprint confirms. I think I just said that. Ah. Um, basically, what's going to happen is they're going to wave at, roll out the Sprint excuse me, the, the Froyo 2.2 Android upgrade to the Evo 4G phones, you will be getting a wireless notification, so I'm going to say it's a text message, um, for those of you who have the Froyo 4Gs, again, it's going to be in waves, they're not going to roll it out all at once, uh, and they said that everything will be done by mid-August. Now, if you don't want to wait until then, after next Tuesday, you can manually download it, and here's the procedure. You go to your settings menu on the Evo, you go to system updates, and then HTC software update. Now remember, your phone's gonna be completely shut down while the update's going on, and it won't come back on until the update is absolutely complete. So you wanna make, you wanna make sure that there's nothing important going on while you do that. It doesn't say how long it takes to download, though, so I'm gonna guess, depending on where you are, what area you're in um, is how fast you are. Obviously, I think if you're on the 4G, if you're in a 4G area, the download will probably go quite a bit faster but uh, it doesn't say exactly how long it will do that. Some of the key features that are gonna be in the update are the flash support and the app storage on external devices. Now, I also put a link in there that's, that has what's called, it says Sprint Slides, and that actually has all, there's five slides in there, and it has all the extra features that the Froyo 2.2 is gonna be putting onto your phone, so you can check out that link. Okay, next, holy Froyo, lots of now new Android 2.2 info. And basically, this article is an update for all the, the Android phones and if and when they are going to be getting the updates. Uh, obviously, like I said, the, the Evo 4G, the ones that are confirmed are the Evo 4G, the Galaxy S, but the European versions only, and the HTC Desire again in Europe. So if anybody overseas is seeing this, you're getting it too uh, sometime next week. Now, there's also an unofficial rumor, but it's pretty substantiated, that the Droid phones from Verizon are going to be uh, getting stuff as early as next Friday. August 6th so and again that'll be rolled out in waves and they'll get a notice for it so check that out that may be happening also they didn't give any information on manual downloading that so and it's not hundred percent confirmed I also put a link for the updated Android 2.2 upgrade list and it's upgraded as of today so it has all the phones on there all the Android phones and a whether they are going to be getting the 2.2 and when and how soon. So it's a great, great resource for you if you have an Android phone and you're looking for the upgrade. So check that out. Next, unhackable. Android phone can be hacked. This is a little bit scary and a little bit important. There's a video on there. There's a convention called Black Hat, which is in Las Vegas, and it's a security convention for wireless and other um, industry things. Uh, and you have to check out the video. The guy's a little bit dry and says um and ah a lot like I used to until my wife pointed out to me that I was doing that. But tremendous, tremendous information and basically the company Lookout, which I've talked about before, is a tremendous security company for wireless and they went in there and through the Linux based system which kind of runs Android, they were able to get in and hack into an Evo 4G, a Droid X, an incredible, all the top Android phones with some of them, they were able to completely root them, meaning take over the phone. Some of them, they were able to just get the information, the personal information out of it. So it's very, very um, scary, to be honest with you, is the best word I can put right there. And there was an app from Jackie Wallpaper, and it had wallpapers that you could download from like Star Wars and My Little Pony and stuff like that. Very, very popular wallpapers that actually was going in there and getting people's personal information, phone numbers, contacts, things like that, and sending them to a website in China. So again, this is something to really look into and really look out. And the problem is, is that they're hiding this stuff in general applications. And you actually are giving permission to this, just like when, we, when there's that whole long permission page and we just click I accept, that's in there and you're actually doing it yourself. Uh, the, the solutions to this are number one, buyer beware. If you see, think that it's suspicious at all for any reason, uh, don't download it, don't take it because there are mostly free apps. If for some reason you think that the app is in there, it's taking it out, change your passwords because then they can't go back in there and get it. Now in the video, they do say there's, there are software 
that you can do to help protect and check this regularly. Unfortunately, I'm not a real expert on this and I couldn't, they didn't mention any of the software and I couldn't find it. If there's anybody out there that knows the specific software applications that can be downloaded to check this stuff, please uh, send it to me at blogquestions at phonescaller.com or put a comment on this video and I'll go ahead and pass that along. I'll check it out and pass it along. I will have somebody check those out just in case there's somebody out there that's trying to do bad stuff. I will promise you to do that for you also. And then lastly, a really, really interesting article, Ken and Android, A Tale of Two Phones. And a very, very interesting article, there's a gentleman named Andy Rubin who basically created both concepts of the Kin and the Android system. Uh, he's moved around, he's worked with Microsoft. He actually uh, created Danger, the company Danger, which invented the original Sidekick. So he's very, very in inventive in this industry and basically it shows how Microsoft completely blew what they were with infighting and stuff like that and how Google has just taken it off. So really interesting article, go ahead and read it. I thought you might like that. Lastly, under categories, a under Apple, iPhone, and Verizon, Motorola versus Apple, who's the better mudslinger? And this is a great, great article. And it talks about how it's very much like a political campaign right now. Uh, one of the things it does definitely point out is how Apple, rather than talk about its, its uh, positive things and going forward, all it's trying to do is bring all the other phones into its own problem to say, hey, see, we're not the only ones. Whereas opposed to the Motorola, especially with the Droid X, it's saying, going on and saying, this is what the great things that it does. And the article kind of says what a lot of people are thinking is just what the hell is Apple thinking? Just get over this, go on, get out of this mudslinging, get out of this competition, sell your phone and do great things. That's all I got. Have a great, great, great weekend. I will actually see you next month, right? See you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.